What's up guys, IFBB Pro Dominic Cardone here. Um, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my dealings with sleep apnea, my recent findings. If you've been following me on Instagram, you've been seeing you know, a bit about it. Um, and I do wanna give you guys some information on it because I don't feel it's spoken about enough in this industry. Um, and it can potentially save lives. And I know if you guys have it and you get it treated, it will dramatically improve the quality of life. And like I said, possibly save your life. Um, you know, sleep apnea is pretty much, uh, if you snore, that's a form of sleep apnea. Um, if you, if you're waking up constantly throughout the night and it's not narcolepsy, that's a form of sleep apnea. A lot of people stop breathing in their sleep and that's why you wake up. And a lot of times you don't even know you're waking up. So you're getting these micro awakenings and you don't know. Um, so long story short, I've had it, you know, ever since pretty much I got into bodybuilding, I would say since I was, you know, since I was 19, it really started to kick in. Um, but I just dealt with it and that's not what you should do. So if you're snoring, if your girlfriend, wife or whatever says you're snoring at night, you should definitely look into getting a in-clinic sleep study done. Um, but in terms of my experience with it, um, even when I had my mercury poison, I was smaller, I still dealt with it. So I actually do believe that the fact that I wasn't sleeping, obviously if you don't sleep, that's sleep deprivation. Your body can't detox things. I also believe that's why I built up so much mercury. I, have, wasn't, I haven't slept in years. Um, I was so used to waking up anywhere between six to you know, more than 10 times a night that I knew of. So I had a machine that was given to me as a gift. I never really used it because I didn't think I really needed it for a bit. I don't want to wear a mask. And, but also too, when I did try to use it, I felt very ill. Um, so speed up to the past few months, uh, since January, I put on all this weight. I went up to 290, um, uh, and I just started feeling like shit again, you know, here I spent all that money and time getting free of mercury poisoning. And now here I am feeling like total crap from not sleeping. I'm waking up all night. I'm waking up in the morning feeling like a complete zombie. Um, my, I was losing my focus very quick. My memory was getting even worse. Um, you know, my moods were very low. Um, obviously my recovery from training was shit. I was pulling things, pulling muscles left and right. And I began looking really, really aged. I know I've always looked older, but I, the past few months it looked really bad. Uh, my girlfriend, Ashlyn, um, she just competed in Bermuda, um, in Orlando and she won her class. So big shout out to her. I'm so proud of her. Um, Anyway, so for the few weeks that, you know, we were traveling, she didn't sleep. She heard me snoring nonstop, choking in my sleep. It was really bad, but she also seen how I was acting. I what my just I was just wasn't aware of things around me. My moods were down. I was exhausted all the time. I had I mean, my bags are still there a little bit, but it was like it was like I can't really imitate it. But I had these severe like triple level bags under my eyes, which um, they're starting to go away now very quick. Obviously, water retention has a play in it as well, but it was really, really bad. Um, but anyway, so she sat down with me. She, you know, told me her concerns because she worked in a sleep clinic for three years. Her stepmom owned a sleep clinic in Texas. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, she had to talk to me that she was concerned, and I'm so grateful that she did because I kind of forgot what it was like to feel normal again and feel awake. And it was really starting to affect my quality of life um, you know, doing my work, wanting to get new business ventures going that I've been wanting to do for a while. It even started impeding in my training, my recovery and such and so forth. And I was honestly becoming miserable. And like I said, I haven't slept in years, guys. Um, <clears throat> ideally, you know, it would be to stop bodybuilding and go down to a very low body weight, but I don't want to do that. So anyways, she, you know, sent me down to Texas this week. It was on Wednesday. I went down to her, her stepmom's clinic in uh, San Antonio, Texas, and I did the in-clinic study. So I had all these different wires hooked up all over my head, an EKG done on my chest, legs, and I had to wear these wires all night with the sleep hat mask so they can test the pressures and see um, how many times I'm waking up. And it just, it really tests... Uh, to see what type of uh, therapy you need if you have sleep apnea, and of course I did. So the findings in the test, they said, obviously I have sleep apnea, but I did very well with the mask. Um, I mean, they are able to see heart function, oxygen levels, uh, brain brainwave functions to see if I'm going into REM sleep. And, you know, so they sent me on my way. Um, and it turns out the machine I have, the pressure was way off. 
Um, so anytime I did use the machine I have prior, I got very ill feeling the next day. Like, like something was really, really wrong. The pressure was way too high. So they set my machine from auto to CPAP. They put the pressure on six and I've used it the last three nights and it has been literally life changing. Like I get so excited now. Um, every day I wake up with a ton of energy. I'm ready to get out of bed. I'm ready to take on the day. Um, my members alone, the last three days, my memory is coming back, my focus, my creativity. I feel happy. My mood is great. My skin is changing, which I'm so happy about because I was looking really, really aged. Um, and aside from all that, guys, um, obviously my body, my physique is going to change dramatically. But most importantly is quality of life. And, you know, health issues because sleep apnea, you're depriving your brain of oxygen. If you deprive your brain of oxygen, you're looking at death. We need oxygen to live. <clears throat> and obviously it's severely, severely, um, it, it severely impacts the heart. Heart, blood pressure, you're looking at, you know, thicker blood. The issues go on. Insulin resistance, you're slowly killing yourself by not sleeping. Um... So it has completely changed my life. And the best part is this isn't even like the end of it from what I was told and what my girlfriend told me and what I read online. I'm going to keep getting better for weeks and months, which is so like exciting to think of because I haven't felt this awake in years. Um, obviously, I had some good days and some bad days here or there um, in the past, but it was more just dealing with it. And nobody should just deal with that. And the problem is so many Ameri so many people in the world have sleep apnea and they don't realize it. Um, you know, depression, anxiety issues, um, you know, all these health issues are simply from not sleeping. You know, forms of torture from horrible people in parts of the world is sleep deprivation. You know, uh, military, they will sleep deprive prisoners to get information out of them. Um, so obviously, you know, this is obviously not that severe, but it, it, it slowly kills you over time. So your body's not getting oxygen. You're not recovering. If you're not sleeping, you know, your body can't heal. We need to heal. You're constantly in a state of fight versus flight. You need to get into this parasympathetic state to heal and grow and function as a human being. So anyways, ever since I've been vocal about this on my Instagram, I think four or five people have now studied uh, <clears throat> scheduled sleep studies, which I'm super happy to see. Um, this, guys, we have, you know, so many people in this should come up with heart issues, blood pressure issues. Um, and, you know, bodybuilders are lazy people. And a lot of people say, oh, but the dieting and all this. Most bodybuilders are lazy people. They're always tired. They're always exhausted. I fell into that trap myself. Um, <clears throat> and that's not how it should be. You know, people say, oh, I don't want to wear the mask, this and that. Then stop bodybuilding if you have sleep on me because you're going to die an early death. I am not exaggerating. Please Google it. Watch videos. Read people's experiences. This is a serious, serious subject. Um, and it affects every part of your life, your sex life, your social life, um, just every part of it. And I experienced this for years. Obviously, throughout the years, it got worse and worse. And I kind of just ignored it and dealt with it. Um, but as of today, three days in, uh, my mood is better. I'm able to make sentences a lot better. I feel like my body's healing. I had my first back, uh, first, first training session back in two weeks. So the last two and a half weeks, I kind of pulled things back because I wasn't feeling great. We were traveling and it was a good time just to reset. My muscle contractions were excellent. I had a great pump. Um, so I've also been dealing with some slight stomach distension for the last few months since putting all the weight on. That is completely gone. Um, <clears throat> what else have I noticed? Um, obviously I feel like my sex drive is now rising, which is, you know, great and healthy. Um, and just overall, I, 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 ju I just feel great and I know it's going to keep getting better. Um, so basically guys, uh, number one, I want to say people are going to say, oh, I don't have health insurance. If you're a competitive bodybuilder and you're taking drugs and you can afford drugs and all this other stuff and you don't have health insurance, well, your priorities are fucked up. You know, I'm going to just say, just blunt like that. Every bodybuilder should have health insurance because God forbid something happens. You never know what can happen. And, you know, this all this stuff is risky. It is. Um, obviously, we can be as safe as possible, but you never know. I mean, everybody should really have health insurance. You just don't know what can happen and what crazy event. Um, so <clears throat> if you feel you have sleep apnea, which most of you may, 
um, especially if you're heavier. And there were even people I've read online that are small, you know, smaller, and they have forms of sleep apnea. So, you know, get with your doctor, get an in-clinic study. I know they have the at-home studies, but there is nothing better and for coming from my girlfriend who worked in a clinic for three years than having the proper testing done because they're testing your brain, your heart, your muscle contractions. I mean, everything, your levels of sleep and the at-home test is not going to do all that. There's no way. Um, so get that sleep study done. Get with a really good clinic, a really good doctor that will look after you. And it may take time to adjust to the mask. It may not. You may notice the differences right away. Maybe it'll take a few weeks. It really depends how damaged your body is. But this isn't only coming from me. My dad had severe sleep apnea when he got into bodybuilding. It instantly turned off once he got his mask. I've had clients. I know other pros who have done it. So it's not just me. Please go online and read about it. You will see. Um... So I feel this is a very important video to put out there um, because, like I said, literally like by the hour, I'm getting better. It's it's unreal. Um, I, oh, I've also lost 10 pounds now from inflammation, water. Um, so all these things are coming back to me. So like I said, not only is this going to increase your quality of life, but it can potentially save a lot of your lives. The blood pressure issues, the sleep issues, this, all these... You know, people that get into bodybuilding, it's like becoming accepted to feeling like shit and having to take this drug to counteract your blood pressure and this and that. Meanwhile, some of this stuff is simple fixes as just sleeping. Um, a lot of you may think you're sleeping, but you're not. If you're at a heavier body weight, if your neck is thick, um, <clears throat> you're, just, you're, pr you're prone to it. So I highly, highly encourage you all to please get with your doctor. If you don't have insurance, get insurance cut back on something else so you can afford insurance and get the sleep test done um, because like I said, I can't stress and say it enough. Not only will it improve your quality of life and you will be happy, but you will be, you know, adding, you know, you will not be taking years off your life anymore. Um, if you're not sleeping, organs will fail. And, you know, aside from all that, aside from all the really important stuff like living and not dying, um, which I know there's some stubborn people out there who don't want to hear that. But, you know, your bodybuilding career, your bodybuilding goals will <clears throat> go to a completely different level if you're healing and recovering. And I don't feel people really put enough emphasis on recovery. Um, you know, you're going to put muscle on much quicker. You're going to be able to lose fat and you're just going to feel good overall performing in the gym. So um, anyways, guys, I'm done ranting. I really, really hope if you watch this video, if you taking it serious, I always talk from experience. We're in a time where everybody's talking to the phone on YouTube and Instagram, and they're just regurgitating what other people are saying, and they don't have experience in what they're talking about. And it's like the blind leading the blind. And it's hard, and for me, it's hard to trust somebody who is talking about things they've never experienced and telling me what to do. So, um, again, you've, I'm going to keep everybody updated on Instagram with my progress with this. Um, and I, I repeat, I hope a lot of you do take this serious because this is a very serious subject. Um, that we all should be addressing as bodybuilders and as a community. And even if you're not a bodybuilder, um, football players, Shaquille O'Neal, I mean, he's massive. He's been public about his CPAP use. Um, if, you, if you think you have it, just look into it, guys, because there's so many people out there being put on drugs to sleep, um, uh, drugs to stay awake, this and that. And that is not the way when we can just simply get this fixed through forms of, you know, either using a machine, there are surgeries for it as well. So, um, again, if, you know, please uh, take it serious. So I have to say it, like, subscribe, please share this video. I need this message to get out there. It is very, very important. Um, more important than all the gear and nutrition talk and all this that's going to come because this is going to save somebody's life and make their life much better, save relationships and such and so forth. So, again, like, subscribe, share, and uh, thank you guys for all the support.